Are you guys ready for some more comedy? Say yeah! Yes, today. Now this guy is fast becoming a legend of South African stand-up comedy. His leg is a bit broken. You guys know he's famous. He's been in one of my favorite movies. Please welcome Trevor Gumbi! Excuse the limp, I'm going through a botched circumcision. <laughs> no, that's not true, but I really should start doing things like going to uh, initiation schools and stuff. I should stop doing white people shit. I've been doing white people stuff so much, I'm a recovering drug addict right now. It's messed up. I, I didn't even need to go to rehab to be told that cocaine is not for black people. <laughs> cocaine is so expensive, it's like 300 bucks for a gram, a little thing like this. And with these nostrils, fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, also quit, also quit drinking because I was involved in a fatal car accident. <laughs> it wasn't me who died, Nimrod, it was a friend of mine. Basically, like, to cut a long story short, like, if I was sober, I would have been able to help save his life, but because I was drunk, to cut a long story short, it all ended up with me at the police station trying to explain the subtle difference between mouth-to-mouth -mouth and necrophilia. Like, I'm eating a lot of humble pie right now with this broken knee and stuff. Like, I used to mock retarded people, so I'm not gonna do that shit again, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Like, I appreciate our retards a lot. <laughs> I've got on my PVR, the Paralympics, still recorded. <laughs> and I watch them a lot, because we proved at the Paralympics that we have the fastest retards in the world! <laughs> South African retards are the best, the fastest. Jeez, they're awesome, man. <laughs> it was a five-man synchronized swimming team, but only one leg going up and down. <laughs> the Paralympics were bloody awesome. Up until the Black Eyed Peas went and performed their song, Let's Get Retarded! And... <laughs> it's wrong. It's also extremely wrong that at the Paralympics, they didn't have golf as a Paralympic sport. It's because it's kind of stupid asking, so what's your handicap? <laughs> it's very difficult, guys, because like, I'm sure the present government really wants to save the lives of black taxi commuters, but insisting on seat belts on every seat will not help this mission. Instead, how about Velcro headrests? <laughs> now you see, that's a very racist joke to laugh at, right? I only did that joke just to test the racisticity of a room. It's a word, it's a word, just live with it. <laughs> but it's really bad, because every Easter and every December, the news always comes and films the, the taxi accident scene, and there's always just like one shoe and one orange there. <laughs> and you think to yourself, who was this guy about to enjoy his nectarine? <laughs> Looked up, saw the accident coming, said, fuck this shoe and this orange. And those of us that do make it down to Durban carrying empty two liter Coke bottles, we just end up on the beach sand, not going in the water, filming the cheapest episode of Fear Factor ever. There's a hundred, 
100,000 black people going, cho, cho, cho. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've still never understood why we carry empty two liter Coke bottles down to Durban. And, but I realized when I came back to Johannesburg, and I was invited to the Soweto Beach Festival. <laughs> that you fuckers have been stealing the ocean two liters at a time. <laughs> but I, I, I need to tell you guys that it's not all doom and gloom. We are changing and it all, it all starts with our diet. You know what I mean as black people? My guy in the case of Chief's top. <laughs> we can do this thing together. We change our diet and extra large football shirts are not the only thing we can wear out in public. <laughs> but we need to change our diets. The things we eat has got to change. Like black people, we eat far too much chicken. I'm sure that we are trying to make chickens extinct. <laughs> we have proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that we were the first people on earth. We proved that because the world's first chicken, the dodo, extinct. <laughs> and today, we will eat the fuck out of a chicken, guys. <laughs> Starting with the chicken head, we are popping the eyes out of the... <laughs> we go with the chicken neck. Hey, man, a black woman will embarrass you at Nando's, eh? <laughs> Don't take a black woman to Nando's. They are putting Kelly Pigo, please. Don't chop off the neck, yeah. Leave the neck, booty. I want my neck. And when a black woman is done with a chicken neck bone, there's nothing left on the plate but a gray palp. <laughs> it's pretty messed up because we don't stop there either. We go on the inside of a chicken, waking up, yeah, I can have scrambled eggs and chicken livers. That is killing the egg, the chicken, before it hatches and after it's dead. It's messed up. And can we stop eating the giblets, please? Have some class. White people do not eat giblets. You go to Woolworths and you ask for giblets, you will look like a damn fool. But a checker shop right there, bright packs, a bunch bright packs. A bloody chicken giblets. And the giblet is the chewiest motherfucker on a chicken. Which is why we started eating the chicken feet as well, for that built-in toothpick. I'm telling you, it's bad, guys. Like, pay a visit to, like, my favorite mall, Maponya Mall, world-class mall, but check out the food court. It is all chicken, KFC, Nando's, chicken leaking, karaoke. And then around the corner, there's a store that nobody ever goes to. Ocean basket. <laughs> and you ask these guys in the long queues at the chicken outlets, why don't you just go to Ocean Basket? sex <laughs> It's pretty fucked up. And chickens in black neighborhoods. If you've ever been to a black neighborhood, you know there are chickens that roam around free. <laughs> Nobody knows who owns these motherfucking chickens. They're always walking around, and these chickens look like the most raggedy motherfuckers ever. These chickens look like they are being eaten alive. They've got no feathers around the neck. I'm telling you guys, man, it's bad. Like, the chickens in black neighborhoods are so afraid of black people. So afraid of black people, they walk around the black neighborhoods like this. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trevor Cohen. Have a good night.